siblings. I am not in this world right now. Let me show you what world I'm in. I am in this world. If you know, you know. I'm reading that guitar series. If you watched my housewarming vlog, you know that I got a Kindle as a housewarming gift from my dad. And so now I actually am a Kindle girly and I am on the last book of Akatar, A Court of Silver Flames. And I am eating it up. So just so you guys know how into this world I am, last week I finished A Court of Wings and Ruin. Over the weekend, I read the entire A Court of Frost and Starlight, which it's like a little novella. It was cute. And are you kidding me? It's like a holiday, Christmas, winter solstice novella. It's snowing all weekend. It's been like negative five degrees. I turned on my fireplace. I read the cozy book. The vibes were immaculate. So I read it all in like two days. Then immediately after I finished it yesterday, I started A Court of Silver Flames and I'm on page 58. So I'm getting through it. And so far I'm loving it. I actually am gonna set a reading goal to read about a hundred pages a day because I really wanna finish this this week and then hop into Throne of Glass. I am just fully in the Akatol world. I'm not here and I just, I just want I've been okay. I just want to spend all if I could read this all today I would but I have a job all that as an intro to say welcome to a week in my life I've not done just like a relaxed normal week in my life vlog in so long So I thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys along my new life aka because I haven't vlogged since I've moved to Missouri We finally finished the remodel the wedding is done Everything is like in place for me to just have like a chill normal life, which is my favorite thing I'm a little bit of a homebody these days. I work during the week work from home right here. And then after work, I read, I go to the gym, I do hot yoga, hang out with friends here and there. Obviously hang out with my husband, I cook a lot. It's Monday and that means work. Back to work. I won't show too much of me actually working because it's kind of just me sitting at a desk every day. But if you're not caught up, I'm a social media manager for a software company. I work fully remote, so does my husband. Super great and entertaining. No, I actually really do like my job. But it's currently my lunch break. My husband just went to go pick up our groceries order and we ordered pizza last night. We're trying to eat good, but oh, it just sounded so good. So we ordered pizza for dinner last night. I'm gonna heat up the leftovers here for lunch and I'm gonna read as much as I can during this lunch break and just eat up this book. remodeling in here. Nothing crazy, but this was just a guest room and I literally never came in here and ever since after the wedding we haven't had any guests. Plus we have a whole nother guest room downstairs so this room could really be like my reading room. Most of the time I do like to read in my living room. I made it so unbelievably cozy in there, but I didn't really have like a hideaway Bible study room. Enter the guest room. So I brought in our old kitchen table and it makes the perfect desk. I have a nice little lamp. I've got this cute thing and then when the lamp is annoying at night, I'll like throw it over there. That's why it's all bundled up right here. Candle, it's actually kind of a mess right now, but Bible study supplies, that's for pickleball. I have a lot of random stuff here actually, but Christian book I'm reading, headband, beanie, question mark. Uh, my iPad. I don't get any notifications and I don't have any social media or anything on my iPad. So I like to use it when I wanna read like commentaries or look something up when I'm reading my Bible. So that's perfect. An old drink, don't worry about that. Chair, blanket, simple, come in here every morning, read my Bible. And then on this side of the room, I turned the bed so it's more like day bed vibes. I've got cozy blankets, my Kindle. I keep my Kindle charger in here. And this is where I have been doing some reading if I wanna switch up the vibes. The only downfall is that this is the room we keep the cat litter in. So they'll come in here and make it smell so unbelievably bad. And I'm just like, oh, perfect. Really fitting the vibes of my book. I keep their litter in this closet. So I need to clean it right now. So we'll just ignore that while I need it open for them. There's no rug, there's no decor. I just have these like cute little curtains and then all this little stuff. Anyways, y'all did not ask for all those details, but there they are. I am going to read a little bit more and then go back to work. Oh, I also have my Google Home in here so I can play my fantasy music. And if you're wondering what kind of music I listen to when I read, especially fantasy, the Akatar series, anything that's like classical, instrumental, orchestra vibes, it sounds like it would be the soundtrack to like a movie. Like in one of my playlists is literally like the Interstellar song. 
So, those are the vibes. These are the vibes. I'm booking my hot yoga classes. I booked one for today and tomorrow after work and I'm debating if I want to do some at like 7 a.m. But this morning I skipped the gym because it was so cold I could not justify getting out of bed. <laughs> so I don't know, but also going to hot yoga. So it's kind of worth it. But then like, can I really wake up that early? I don't know. But if I book it, then it like forces me to go, forces me to wake up. So maybe I should book it. And I am done with work for the day. I have a little bit until I need to head out for my yoga class. So that means I can get a few more pages in. Actually, I'm gonna get dressed first so I can relax before going to yoga. I just looked down. Oh, my gosh. Okay, please don't Are you kidding me? They come in here and they're just cuddling the arm. Phoenix's arm is literally around her face. They're cuddling. Stop. Well, that was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, um, okay, so obviously leggings. I think all my good leggings are dirty. The ones I'm wearing are more like relaxed leggings, not workout leggings. Sports bra. Ooh, my mom gave me this tank top at Christmas. I haven't worn it. Let's wear it. Oh. The pants are navy. I mean, they almost look black. Honestly, it's dark in the room. Who cares? I'm gonna wear it. Every time I do one of those transitions, I have no idea what to do after. And so it's just this like really awkward moment and hoping that it worked. Anyway, I'm ready. <laughs> Except it's literally negative five out, so I will be wearing a jacket. This is my first hot yoga class since before Christmas, so hopefully I don't like absolutely die, but I already know my legs are gonna be on fire. It is freezing even in the garage. <sighs> I can't even imagine how cold the car is gonna be after yoga when it's dark out and my car hasn't been in the garage. <sighs> I should have worn gloves. I hope that this yoga session is like calming and they realize that it's snowy and cold and I just want to relax but then I also hope it's a good workout I don't know I am going to like a hot flow so it's usually more of like a workout than like a stretchy relax one but usually there's a good amount of stretching and relaxing on the beginning and the end of workout so I'm sure I'll be fine okay I'm here they don't allow phones or anything so um, I'll just see you when I get back I am back. That was phenomenal. The only bad part about it was that, as you saw, I ate pizza for lunch. Not a good sustainable meal for a workout. Like, I feel not. My camera died and cut me off from saying that I was hungry, so I was gonna have a little snack before I make dinner. So I had some cottage cheese and then I took a shower. Just got finished editing a video and now I can finally relax for a little bit, get some pages in, and then I'm gonna make dinner. This is the reality of when you get into a really good book series and you wait the entire day just so you can get all cozy and read your book. I'm like debating skipping dinner just to read for hours until I fall asleep. But I'm making steak tonight. I need to eat definitely and the steak is gonna hit. I'll find a way to read while I cook. Music though, book on. Oh my gosh, the book is so good. I'm on page 124 and I just want to keep reading it. I, if I had the time, if I could like drink a bunch of coffee, I would literally stay up the rest of the night and read it because it's that good. But I am hungry, so let's make dinner. <laughs> got done with dinner and yeah I did not end up making my steak I'm gonna have it tomorrow I was more in the mood for that little meal that I made so I made that if you can hear in the background Abram and I just finished eating and now he is watching Roman Empire videos every time we sit down to watch something he wants to watch like some historical documentary movie and I'm like I just want to have a silly goofy laugh now for my favorite time of the night although I really like my reading room this is where the real reading goes down in my bed I'm showered, I'm fed, I'm hydrated, I'm ready to go to sleep. Time to get some good reading in. Hey, good morning. I am up early, going to the gym before work, and I have yoga after work. Just lots of exercise today. 
It is cold. I just went and turned the car on, so hopefully it'll be somewhat warm by the time I get in. It is snowy outside, and I have Bulgarian split squats on the workout plan today, which means I don't wanna go. <laughs> I also laid in bed and debated if I wanted to go for too long, then decided, but now I'm running late. So I can't finish my whole workout, but let's go get in what I can. It's a good old 10 degrees. All the roads are just snowy. Perfect. This is proof to myself that I can do things that I don't wanna do, cause I am so cold right now, I hate the cold. Oh, sorry, it's eight degrees. Love that. Actually, as much as I'm complaining, this is like the first winter, actual winter, cause like Texas winters don't really count. So like Missouri winter that I haven't like hated it and like actually been living here. Jesus healed me, I'm thriving. Thanks to God. So I just had to throw that out there. That was not good. Not good at all. I have four exercises on the schedule today. Hip thrust, did them, great, killed it. Bulgarian split squats, glute focused. <laughs> There's a reason I hate them, okay? I almost threw up like six different times. That last set, I actually thought I was gonna vomit all over the floor. And then walking out to the car, I was gonna just throw up on the ground, but there was someone in the car next to me, so I was like, I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I left after that. I think I should start eating breakfast before the gym. I used to be able to like work out without eating breakfast, which probably isn't very smart anyway, but not today. Nope, I do not feel good. This is my favorite post-workout protein shake smoothie whatever um i have this little blender greek yogurt very high in protein so i just do like a spoonful of that it's like kind of gross but then like kind of good at the same time okay right, then for some flavor some frozen blueberries i'll do like three spoonfuls of that and then protein powder just one scoop of that and if i had milk sometimes i'll do milk I don't think I have any, so I'm just gonna add some water. All right, we'll see how that tastes. Ooh, yeah, that's really good, okay. Pour into a cup, and boom, protein smoothie. I'm actually just gonna put this in the fridge and go take a quick shower because I feel disgusting. Recently, instead of saying like gross or garbage, I've been saying garbanzo beans because my husband, Abram, has been really into eating garbanzo beans and I just think it's funny. So I'll be like, oh, I just feel garbanzo beans. Anyways, <laughs> today's work outfit. I'm wearing a sweater, pajama pants, slippers this is what work from home is like and honestly i keep going through phases where i'm like okay i'm gonna dress nice so i feel nice during the day but i feel like it didn't make that big of a difference than just being comfy plus it's literally negative degrees outside so i do not care i am on full comfort mode until further notice good morning hi griffin while i was getting ready abram got the coffee going so i am going to make coffee <laughs> Griffin exploring. <laughs> they jump from like there to the cabinet to up there. Griffin! But it's kind of sketchy because on this side, it's like a huge drop. But they're always careful. Hi Griffin! He loves being up high. And he's gonna eat the corner. Griffin, no, <laughs> stop. Something about me is I'm a drink girly, but I never finish any of my drinks and I never drink enough water because I love drinks, other drinks. So I've got my smoothie, my coffee, and then someone at work for Secret Santa had gotten me this like mug warmer, so it actually stays warm. Which means typically I actually do finish my coffee. I used to never finish it because I get cold by the time I get to the bottom, but now it stays warm. I'm wrapping up work and the feminine urge to just never work again and read my cute silly little books for the rest of my life, but you know, money. Um, sorry, I'm like low power mode. 
Today at work I had to film. I film some videos for work sometimes and it always completely drains me and just makes my head hurt for like an hour because I have like bright lights on me and I try to film everything all at once, which you know, probably not the best idea, but I'm, I got all ready so I'm gonna do it. And it gets so hot in that room, even with it being like negative degrees outside, it was still hot in there with all the lights on. So glad to be done with work and I didn't vlog much like making lunch and all that. Nothing thrilling. I was just reading and cooking, but I am now on page 236, 32% through this book. I started it Sunday, it's Tuesday. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be finishing this very quickly. <laughs> I also posted a TikTok asking if I should read Throne of Glass or Crescent City next because Crescent City comes out in like 14 days and I wanna be a part of the community when everyone's like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm like talking about it. But I think I'll just have to stay off social media because I'm gonna read Throne of Glass next. It just feels right. Everyone said that that's the way I should do it. Plus, could I really get through both Crescent Cities by then? Probably not. So I'm taking my time, but also like reading really fast because the books are good. Anyways, I have a yoga class and about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do a little bit of chilling, relaxing reading. I really wanna cancel it because I don't wanna leave my house again, but I know it'll be worth it and feel really good. That's my whole life, it's just me convincing myself that I should do something I don't wanna do. <laughs> Cozy spot, little snack, candle, fun drink. I'm gonna get my music going and let's get into this book again. I'm so excited for what is happening right now, by the way. I wish I could just spoil it, but I know some people haven't read it. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Okay, let's read. <laughs> Which I'm glad to go to yoga, but like, I wish I could read my book in yoga. Anyway, I'll see you after yoga. Good morning. Yesterday was certainly a day. I show up to yoga. Yesterday was super chill, just a little bit of a workout, mostly a stretch. And I was like, okay, I can do that again. Instructor walks in and says, I hope y'all ready to die. Not really, but basically. <sighs> That was the hardest yoga class I've ever done. I honestly really needed my inhaler, but I was like in the front of the class and the class was like packed. So I was like, okay, I'll just drink water and take some big breaths. But it was really hard. Like, oh my gosh. The instructor, she's my age. And so afterward I was talking to her and like something happened in the thing and I thought it was really funny. So then I was talking to her about it after. And then we started talking about books. Okay, so then it's over. We're talking for hours, right? We talk about Akatar. She read Throne of Glass. She was telling me all about everything you know telling me fan theories no spoilers but we're just chatting i stayed for two hours after my session so it was fun made a friend anyway so this morning i woke up keep in mind remember yesterday i went to the gym before work and did yoga after work and usually yoga isn't as intense as the gym okay no it was way more intense than the gym this time so i woke up this morning like paralyzed i could not get up i was so like just sore and tired so i laid in bed for as long as i possibly could i literally just got out of bed threw on this and got to work oh and last night when i got home literally all i did was just like make a steak real quick and then read my book until i fell asleep which I literally could have fallen asleep at like 9 p.m. I was so tired but I stayed up to about 11 midnight ish because I wanted to get to page 300 of my book which I did. Today is a little bit packed because obviously I have work. I need to go to the DMV. I found out that everything I filmed yesterday not everything is like bad half the stuff is good but I just got an update of how we're supposed to approach one of the videos that I was doing and I was like oh perfect the day after I already filmed it so I need to like refilm a good chunk of it and I have another video to film. I wasn't really expecting to film today so I look like this so um during my lunch break I'm gonna try to like get ready for filming head to the DMV during lunch and then when I get back I can do my filming but until then I'm working I've got my coffee and I don't know about y'all but when I work if I can like if I don't need to be like fully focused on one thing I'll have like YouTube videos or TV shows playing on my second monitor over here so I'm watching one of my favorite book tubers and working so absolutely thrilling day <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm almost done with the work day. I did not go to the DMV during lunch. I just got ready. That took forever and then made a quick lunch. I don't know what happened, but like 30 minutes before lunch, I just started feeling awful. Like I've never felt worse. I feel absolutely drained in every manner. So I'm trying to chug a bunch of water today. So hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna make it to the DMV, but I need to go today. And I got all ready. I'm doing the like, you know, driver's license hair and then i decided to wear my hair like this on the bottom half of it hopefully it slays i still need to pick out the top i'm gonna wear and i need to print like proof of addresses and stuff also side note my washer i've had clothes in there for like three days and it wasn't able to wash because it was so cold i don't know something probably froze i don't know so i put a space heater in there and now it finally washed so all my clothes are in the dryer and these are like all my good clothes like i've been wearing scraps of clothes like my go-to pants they're all dirty i only only have like workout clothes so very excited to have my clothes back <laughs> ignore my dryer but this is the fit i'm going with i feel awful so let's just get it over with i made it i hope the line isn't super long i don't want to be here forever but i did bring my candles so we'll see how many pages i can get in just got done that took approximately an hour and it was so like loud and distracting in there so i really probably only read like one chapter i feel like i I don't know. I can't tell if I liked myself better before or after. I don't think I should have done like the slick. I don't think it looks good on me. I should have just let my hair be messy how it always is. I I'll try to show you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the new one on the left, I just look not myself. I never wear my hair like that, so I don't know why I did that. And I looked really good with my glasses on. Probably should have rebrushed my eyebrows. I don't know. I just don't think it's the vibe. In all honesty, I really could not care less what I look like on my driver's license photo. The amount of people who look at it is so minimal. Who cares? I just was planning on wearing my glasses and I feel like they just add to me. I don't know. Time to go home. I am home. And unfortunately on the drive home, uh, all this like feeling crappy is starting to hit me really, really hard. And I've been drinking more water and all that. And I am just... Pooped. This is how I feel when I'm getting like the flu or something. So I am very worried that I'm about to have the flu, which I would hate because I'm planning on celebrating my husband's birthday this weekend. His birthday Sunday. We have this whole plan for the weekend. And if I'm sick, I'll be so sad. So hopefully I'm not sick because I don't feel bad about potentially getting other people sick when I went to the DMV. But I'm going to take a bath. That's why I'm in the bathroom. Cool. I'm going to read in there as well. Okay, for Kindle owners, how do I see what page I'm on? Because now it just tells me how many minutes until I finish the chapter and what percentage. But I'm not exactly sure how to see what page. Oh, I found it. Okay, I'm on page 319. My goal was to get to page 400 today. I'll read in the bath. We'll see how it goes. Good morning, except it's like noon-ish. I don't know what happened to me yesterday, but after my bath, which I had the bath like so hot and I could not get warm. So then I moved into the shower and then ran out of hot water and I was freezing. And then I had the heater on me and I was still freezing. And then I put on sweatpants, a sweatshirt, laid under the covers and I was still freezing. And I had a temperature, I don't know what happened. Fell asleep at like 8 p.m. and then woke up at like 8 a.m. So I basically slept for 12 hours and now I feel fine. So whatever crazy thing that was happening to me i'm good i just had to fight it off get that fever kill that and i'm good to go abram's birthday is on sunday and his birthday presents came in and so i let him open them early let's just see if anyone can guess what this is okay it's kind of like a simple stupid gift but this is for making moscow mules we went to a place downtown and they made a blackberry sugar-free moscow mule and we're like what so i scoured the internet and this was actually pretty hard to find but it is a sugar-free blackberry syrup to put in the sugar-free ginger beer and then obviously if you add alcohol you have a moscow mule so for his birthday that's why i also wanted him to open it early we're gonna make moscow mules his birthday party is friday and all of our friends were gonna go out to eat and then come back here and hang out play games have some drinks so i need to clean the whole house so basically the rest of this video i'm just gonna show me kind of tidying up and then we'll wrap her up and then the actual party and everything will be in the next video oh to add to the moscow mule present for christmas my grandma on my mom's side got us these moscow mule cups and we have some but they're really cheap they're not even dishwasher safe these are Way nicer so we're very excited <laughs>
gonna go to the store and grab some things for his birthday party tomorrow, like cheesecake and I don't know what else, but we need a cake. But it's so cold and I am feeling a little bit tired again. So once we get back, I am going to read for the rest of the night. <laughs> Last night I ended my book on page 454 and I am 61% through. This is such a long book and I'm eating up every second of it. Some of it I wish wasn't in here. If you know, you know if you've read this book. It's a little detailed. I'm a little not enjoying that. But other than that, I'm loving it. Love the story. Anyway, if you want to see me celebrate my husband's birthday and all the upcoming events this weekend, then you'll have to stay tuned for the next video because this one's already long enough. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.